learn about how to find the equation of a parabola when we are given with a vertex point and a directex line. So let's start the lecture and take some examples. So here is our first example and in that case the vertex point is given and a directex line is also given. So before finding the procedure of the equation of parabola in that case, first of all we have to plot the given information on a graph. So here is a directex line which is y is equal to 3. Here is a x axis and here is a y axis and the point is y is equal to 3 means in y axis here is a point 3. So we draw a line over here and this is the directex line which is y is equal to 3. And the second point is that a vertex point. So the vertex point is 2 and 2 is something here means this is my vertex point which is 2, 2. Let us check out that which parabola's equation we use here as a vertex is not at origin means here is a value of h and value of k. So we use the equations which is y minus k square which is equals to plus minus 4ax minus h and the other equation which is x minus h square which is equals to plus minus 4ay minus k. So basically we analyze our given information and check out that which equation we use in that particular case. So you can see that the parabola opens downward because always remember one thing that the parabola opens towards the focus. That here is a vertex point then in this direction there is a vertex point. So parabola always open towards the focus and away from this directex line as it can't open the upward because in that case it cuts the directex line which is not possible and in a same case it can't open on a right side or a left side because in that case it also cut the so which equation we use we use this equation with a negative Sign because it opens downward as we already discussed about parabola in previous lecture so we can also discuss that the distance between the vertex and this directex line is same as the vertex and the focus point means if I say that the distance between this directex line and this vertex point is a then I will find a focus point by a same distance means that a vertex point and a directex line is a one point distance. Then I will say that this is my focus point which is 2, 1 because this is also A. So in that case I will find the value of A which is equals to 1. So we use this information as well and we have to find it by a distance formula of a vertex from the directex. The directex line we can write it as y minus 3 which is equals to 0 and here is a vertex point which is 2 2. So we apply our distance formula. If I write the distance which is equals to a 2 minus 3 modulo divided by 0 square plus 1 square with this radical sign and if I solve it, it will be minus 1 modulo divided by 0 plus 1 with radical and it will be always positive. So it will be a 1. So it will be a 1. So we compute the value of A by using our distance formula. If we have a point which is x1 and y1 and a line which is given ax plus by plus c which is equals to 0 so we apply a distance formula from a point to a line is that ax1 plus by1 plus c with mod u and divided by a square plus b square with this radical sign so we apply this formula over here so we can write that we have to finally find a focus point which is 2 1. Value of h is k, h is 2 and the value of k is also 2. Which we use the equation which is this. Means x minus h square which is equals to minus 4a y minus k. 
So in the next step we just put the values here. The x is x and minus the value of h is 2 with square which is equals to minus 4 and the value of a which we compute here is 1 and y minus the value of k is 2. So now we solve it. So it will be x square plus 4 minus 4x which is equals to minus 4y minus 2 x square plus 4 minus 4x which is equals to minus 4y plus 8 step x square minus 4x plus 4y plus 4 minus 8 which is equals to 0 and in that case x square minus 4x plus 4y minus 4 which is equals to 0. So here is a required equation of a parabola and if we want to draw the parabola over here as we know that if this is a parabola then this length is called a lattice rectum. What is the lattice rectum? That a line passing through the focus which is parallel to this directrix line and the both ends on a curve. So the length of the lattice rectum is 4a means this distance is 2a and this distance is 2a and the total length of the lattice rectum is 4a. If the value of a is 1 then I want to find which is 2a means 2 1 which is equals to 2. So I move the two points over this side and this side because the parabola opens in that case. So here is a point which is 1 and 2. Two units move to the left side and in a similar way 1 2 means here is a point. So if I draw this parabola over here so I will find out that this parabola is a wider in that way. So let us move to next example. So before going to find the equation of a parabola, first of all we have to plot it on a graph. The directrix line is something here that I will draw a line over here. x is equals to minus 1. Here is a 1 in x axis and a y axis there is a point which is here mean I will find out a vertex point which is 1 minus 2. As a parabola opens to the right side because always remember as if here is a vertex point then in this direction there is a focus point and this is a directrix line. Parabola opens towards the focus and away from this directrix line. So if you suppose that this distance is also I suppose a distance A. So I will find a focus point which is 3 minus 2. I will find the value of A which is equals to 2. So we can write the direct x line as x plus 1 which is equals to 0 and the vertex point is here. So if we apply a formula that we already discussed in a previous example 1 plus 1 modulo divided by 1 square plus 0 square with radical sign it will be 2 module divided by 1 under root so it will be 2 that we already find here focus point which is 3 minus 2 that the parabola opens towards the right side so we use the equation which is y minus k square which is equals to 4ax minus h because the parabola opens to the right side. So now we just put the value. So it will be y minus the value of k is minus 2 with square which is equals to 4 and the value of a which is 2 that we find out and x minus h the value of h is 1. So we solve it. So it will be y plus 2 square which is equals to 8x minus 1 square plus 4 plus 4y and it will be 8x minus 8. So it will be y square plus 4y minus 8x plus 4 plus 8 which is equals to 0 and our final equation will be y square plus 4y minus 8x plus 12 which is equals to 0 and here is a final equation of a parabola that we have to require to find. We want to draw a parabola over here so we use our information about a lattice rectum that if I 
move two unit here and two unit here of A. So A is two and if I find a value of 2a so it will be 2 into 2 which is equals to 4. So if I move 4 unit here and 4 unit in this direction so it will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here is our 1 point and if I move this so 1, 2, 3 and 4. So in that case I can check out that how wide my parabola is that. So this so this is basically a lattice vector. So it's all about today's lecture that how to find the equation of parabola when we are given with a vertex and a directrix 9. So it's all about today's lecture. If you like this and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.